Hi, I'm Nathan from the DVCC and today I'm going to be giving you some short tips on how to reduce fat from your belly area. Now, one of the main reasons people tend to store fat around their belly button is because of elevated cortisol levels. Cortisol is your body's stress hormone and everyday stresses such as work stress, bad nutritional choices and relationship stress will cause your cortisol levels to rise. Now you don't have to feel stressed to actually have a high cortisol level. For example, if you were to drink a high amount of coffee, the caffeine in that coffee would cause your cortisol levels to increase. Now a great way to naturally reduce your cortisol levels is making sure that you get in 30 minutes to an hour of exercise each day. Resistance training has been shown to have a great effect on reducing cortisol levels due to the increase in testosterone levels while training. Now cortisol and testosterone have an inverse relationship, so when you increase testosterone through training, your cortisol levels will naturally reduce. Be wary of doing long bouts of cardiovascular exercise such as running if your primary aim is to lose belly fat. Now contrary to popular belief, long distance running can actually cause you to store belly fat around your belly button area rather than reducing it. Running for long periods of time puts the body under high amounts of stress, causing your cortisol levels to rise. Now if you struggle to fall asleep in the evening, wake up in the middle of the night or even feel tired after waking up from a long sleep, these are telltale signs that your cortisol levels may be high. At the DVCC we recommend all of our clients supplement their nutrition with magnesium biglycinate. Now magnesium helps to reduce cortisol levels and therefore helps burn belly fat and allows for a better night's sleep. It also helps reduce carb cravings, especially chocolate. Now I'm just going to demonstrate a quick exercise which you can start doing at home which will help you to strengthen your core muscles and reduce belly fat. So the exercise we're going to be demonstrating today is a mountain climb. Now first of all you'll notice that Ryan's hands are directly underneath his shoulders. His back is completely in line so hips are in line with his shoulders. All Ryan's going to do is he's going to bring this knee to this elbow. So if you could do that for me Ryan. He's keeping his abs nice and tight just here and the other leg. Good. Now this exercise can be done very quickly but it's actually very beneficial to do it nice and controlled. So don't feel like you have to do it very quickly. You really want to keep this core nice and tight and keep this hand over shoulder position or shoulder over hand position.